I just got that Ed Shearing song in my head, I See Fire, from The Hobbit. And it's because I exhaled that smoke to clear the air, and then all of this mist was coming up, and then the dragon, and I'm like, is there an unexpected journey coming? Is there an unexpected journey? Your theme today is when words disappear. And um, a lot of things have been coming to mind with me in trauma because I'm, I'm a survivor of intense, intense trauma up until I was 30 years old. And uh, it's taken me like four or five years of complete separation and um, isolation to get me over this trauma. And um, <clears throat> it's been a lot of work, but it's been obviously a healthy amount of work. And I'm, I'm really, really impressed with the way that I've come out of all of this after everything. And um, I feel like a lot of this tarot that I do is like trauma tarot, right? It's situations that um, have arose in our life that we can't get around and we can't get through and obstacles that just keep stopping and blocking and fucking with us, right? So I don't know. I, I, I kind of have a feeling that a lot of this tarot that I do do is trauma, ta is trauma tattoo. I want to say trauma. You might have a trauma tattoo. Um, so anyways, when words disappear. Let's do it. And I'm pretty sure this channel is going into some type of trauma counseling. <clears throat> Which anybody knows a trauma counselor is an arc fucking angel. A trauma counselor can change the events that just occurred like that. If they know how to do their job right. Here we go. Oh, whoa, Cancer. Jeez, have you, are you seeing this? These cards are just flying everywhere. I haven't used these cards for a while, so they have quite a lot to say. I let my tarot cards take a rest because this is a job for them too, you know? Like, okay, on the bottom of the deck was the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, the first card that fell is the Nine of Pentacles, the second one that fell is the Six of Wands, and the third one that fell is the Mother of Cups. When words disappear, it seems like something is changing and evolving, and the wheel is here. And when the wheel comes in, it's it's current energy. It's, it's exactly what's happening at this time, okay? Kind of like the tower. I feel like the, the wheel is very much like the tower. Um, the universe doesn't like to give you too much of a heads up, right? They're not going to give you too much of a warning. So this is like a heads up right now, okay? When words disappear, there's some money here with release okay i love this card this card is the six of wands if i've ever seen one she did a really good job with this because as you can see that butterfly would have never been able to spread its wings in those branches it had to overcome the branches to fly away right and then mother of cups it did fly in reverse and i do feel like you might have had an overbearing very unprotective mother um, a very hostile mother or a very hostile feminine presence around you that constantly made it seem like they could take your cup and they would take care of it and they would make sure that nothing happened to it. Like that's, that's not her cup, right? That's the cup that she's defending. Okay. So uh, like, I mean, a swan, I don't know if you've ever been around a swan and her fucking babies, but a swan will kill you if you get near her baby. She will run with her wings out and attack you okay i've seen it happen and and this is it comes in reverse so it's almost like somebody attacking the wrong things taking stuff from you and then um justifying why there is no emotion going towards you and why you need to give them all the emotion and you have to put them on the spotlight when any mother knows once you have a kid you ain't in the spotlight bitch like your kid is now in the spotlight you got to put yourself down five pegs which is why i cannot believe social media even exists because people still have to make themselves feel good. I know people who have had kids just for social media. Just to put up pictures. Your life isn't a fucking picture. 
And pictures are very dangerous, okay? It can hold you in a space of time, okay? So this wheel is turning, and when words disappear, I kind of, I kind of see this as like, maybe you don't know what's going on. What the fuck? That just flew like your cup is being given back. Your cup is being given back from this mother of cups. Like now in the, the universe is like, we fucked up. The universe didn't fuck up, but this mother of cups fucked up. And the universe can only do so much. Like it's not, it, it, it plays its hand of karma the best that it can, which could be this wheel of fortune, but it can't stop a criminal in its tracks. You know, like the, the universe can get you hit by a car or pull the power or, you know, have this guy's getaway car dis, you know, disappear. They can, they can do freaky things like that. And like, it's called miracles. It's called whether or not they're in the dark or they're in the light. It, it's, it's, it's energies taking uh, back energies. I don't know if you've ever saw this show that used to play. It actually was filmed in Vancouver and it's called Dead Like Me. And there's these like, like I almost want to call them demigorgons. I don't know what they're called, but it's right before a person dies. These like imp kind of looking things or these gargoyle looking things come in and then they, they shatter a light bulb, which makes somebody electrocute themselves. They make somebody slip on a banana peel. You know, like it's, it's, it's there. I do believe there are minions in other dimensions that move things and do things. And you're like, that wasn't there. Like you moved it. And it's, it's like, they can move things to cause danger. Okay. They can move things and they can have somebody all of a sudden not look at the wheel and crash into another person. Right. It's like, um, carelessness. They create carelessness. Okay. So it looks like there's a rise of events here, okay? And it has, there's, there is, there is independence coming, okay? And if you haven't had money or, or a sense of stability or a sense of this is going to get me out and I'm going to, I finally got all fucking four feet on the ground, I was going to say, okay, right? Um, then you don't know what it's like to have, to be safe, right? Like this is kind of safety. I feel like, and, and this mother of cups is being exposed for, um, for keeping something from another and using love as a defense. Yes. Yes. Okay. So for the wheel of fortune, we have the monster, someone claiming to be something that they're not in your life. Okay. And then haul it and forget it. You know, you have to get yourself out of these positions as much as the universe tries to move people, right? And this is like exposing this monster, which is this mother of cups, okay, out of your life. And, and, and it's time to move on. It's time to move on. You know, what's this card that flipped? Oh, yeah, shattered. Something, I feel like this relationship is never going to be the same again, okay? It's going to be shattered once you eliminate yourself from the obstacles which is them this the the sooner you get on your bike without the training wheels and you get the fuck away from them then the faster you'll start to hear your own voice like actually i watched this 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 episode uh called the real ones on uh youtube with john burn burnthal i don't know how to pronounce his last name burnthal i think and uh he was he was um interviewing this guy who uh, explained prison and when he when he first went into prison and he was like you know all of a sudden you get around you get in those four walls and you can hear yourself for the first time because none of those people want to come into jail with you none of none of those um none of those soldiers around your mind that are telling you things and that are putting things into your mind they don't want to go into that jail those entities don't want to step foot in that place. So, 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 you know, same with like psychiatric wards or like, and I mean, hospital is not really the same, but I mean, you can use your, your room as the same thing. Like a lot of, a lot of things aren't going to want to go in there. And he was like, I, I finally heard my fucking voice for the first time. I was 15 years old. I heard my voice and I was like, that's exactly what happened 
when I moved 5,000 miles away from my family, I finally heard my own voice. And I didn't hear them anymore, telling me I was too fat, I wasn't good enough, nobody liked me, I was too loud, I needed to change who I was, I needed to change everything, no one's gonna love me, I'm not lovable, I'm a fucking liar, I lie about everything, you know, like my parents, the things that they, in, they instilled on me was, was awful and I lived under those barricades and those boxes for so long that once I got out of them and once I got away from them, I heard me and only me. And it's really hard to differentiate their voices from my own inner voice, but I know my inner voice and I know I don't beat myself up. I know I'm not an asshole to myself. I know I'm very gentle and very wise and very, I let things come to me. I don't chase them, but something's telling me to go chase things and I gotta, if I don't go and do it, something's gonna take it from me. Then it's not fucking worth it, right? It's a scam. You have to see a scam when it presents itself to you. This mother of cups was a scam. And she took your cup. And she didn't care. She was going to defend it to the fucking mighty end. Making it seem like she had everything to fucking help you with. And really, she was taking everything. So, Mother of Cups, shattered, release, money. Um, haul it and forget it. Whole new world changing. So, Cancer, when words disappear, tarot is here. I'm Moonshine. Have a wonderful day.